Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. So in these crazy days, I've decided to take on a pretty large project. So over the years, I've used this office for a lot of different things. It is actually the confluence of about four or five individual hobbies that I have the CNC, 3D printing, I used to do model railroads, I do computer work and programming, um, and some CAD and some CAD work, right? So this office has taken on multiple personas and has been used for lots of different things and it has gotten full of stuff. <laughs> I have cabinets all along that wall that were just full of parts and pieces. It was fairly well organized, highly dense, they were completely packed. The shelves, kind of janky, not very nice shelves from the big box store. I had a bunch of stuff up here. I've started taking things out of the office already. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna completely deconstruct this office, strip it down to its bare walls, give it a nice fresh coat of paint, and we're gonna build some custom furniture. So on this wall over here, we're gonna put a nice tall cabinet, floor to ceiling. Across the top here, we're going to do a nice long storage shelf. Uh, it's a little box uh, that we can put things in. And then over here on this wall here, we're going to do a nice vertical storage shelf that I can put bins on and hold some of my supplies. Probably going to put the soldering station over there. And then in the center area here that used to be a combination of storage and my soldering station. We're gonna rip all that out and just load it full of storage and then put some sort of door. I think maybe uh, uh, just a curtain or something there to cover that up, but use it as storage and just kind of cover it up. And then this wall over here, uh, it'll just be an open bench top. That's where I will put my computer. I'll have a live stream set up. I will have the camera set up. I'll have all the lighting set up so I don't have to move things around all the time. And then we're gonna fix our kind of falling apart, sad little sticker wall there. I made a video about it, I'll link to it above. It has not held up to the test of time, so I'm gonna make some changes to it. And we're gonna get that up to snuff and we're gonna build a second one that we're probably gonna put behind me on this wall. So, custom build CNC desk, uh, custom build desk to hold the computer and some accoutrements. We're gonna put this nice, lovely vertical bookshelf over here. 3D printer is gonna go in the bookshelf. Hopefully it'll cut down on noise and if we need to put a kind of a front cover on it for heat or noise, we can do that. It's a lot better just being out in the open like they were before. And it's just gonna get generally more organized. I've moved two of the five, three, four, five hobbies out. And so we're gonna stick to just 3D printing and CNC in here with a little bit of computer and electronic work over there. Uh, boxed up all the model trains. Probably gonna donate them or sell them or Whatever, it makes me look sad, but I just don't have time, just don't have a place to put them right now, so it is what it is. We're gonna salvage the Sid Vicious poster and the, my uh, Einstein poster next to the atomic bomb detonation that I got in college a few decades ago. We're gonna get on with the project here. This is gonna be a multi-part video series. I am gonna focus first on the design and building at least one of the components, probably the vertical bookshelf, because it's the most challenging, because it is gonna go floor to ceiling. It has to be built in this room and probably won't ever be taken out, at least in one piece, <laughs> that's for certain. Then when we're gonna build the CNC desk, we're gonna build the uh, computer station here and then the vertical storage over there. And I'll walk you through the plans, walk you through the build, finalize it with a special sighting, I think special and exciting feature of the office here to help maybe make video production a little bit more cool. I'll save that till the end though, so you need to watch all this videos. All right, well that's great. If you like these type of videos, please go ahead and subscribe, ring that bell, very important these days. Um, and we're gonna get on with the project builds. I hope you enjoy it, thanks. So I started the process by creating a design in Fusion 360. I modeled the room structure first to help me really figure out where all the furniture needed to go and what the sizes of the furniture 
should be relative to the size of the room. So you can see as the room here, it's essentially mostly square. It does have this big bulkhead at the top, the closet, which I mentioned in the opening segment, as well as this little teeny window at top here. So overall, the room is pretty easy to work with except for this inset for the closet. So I started the design process by first designing in the one desk that I knew that I was gonna keep from the furniture that was in the room originally. And that is the main desk on the right-hand side of the room, which is this guy right here. It's actually a desk that uh, we got from Ikea, but uh, I kind of just modeled it in the general dimensions and show the outline and shape of the desk itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the room structure here to kind of show you where we are. Uh, next, I just want to highlight the CNC desk. That's actually one of the larger components of the room that I need to design and build. It's large enough to hold the X-Carve and it's got some storage underneath to hold all of the parts of the X-Carve. And then on the bottom, I actually included these ribs across the entire length of the desk to give it a lot of rigidity so that the x carf platform is completely flat and ready to accept you know a lot of stress that the cnc is going to give to it right next to the cnc desk is what i had called the solder desk and intended to be where i was going to be having my solder station but uh, at the end it turns out that i needed a computer to uh, run the X-Carve and I kind of forgot that when I originally put the design together So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my computer that runs the X-Carve here and then surrounded by some all of the parts required For the X-Carve so that I have a place to store everything right next to the Computer slash solder desk is the one of the focal points of the room itself and that is this massive floor-to-ceiling cabinetry here that I'm going to put the 3D printers in. This cabinet is 92 inches tall and about 31 inches wide so it's a really really massive build and because of the way it's constructed floor to ceiling uh, it can only actually be built in the room once I cut all the pieces down to the appropriate size. The final component on that wall of the office is the very long and fairly massive horizontal storage unit here. This is actually where I'm gonna put a lot of my tchotchkes, some of my coffee mugs and 3D prints that I've made and it'll just house it in here. And it creates a nice, you know, I, I call it a shadow box. It's, you know, a little big for a shadow box, but that's where I'm gonna put everything. And then the last component of the office is actually some vertical storage that I'm gonna put on the other wall here. Uh, that is just shelves. Now these shelves are gonna be adjustable so that I can adjust the height and put whatever, whatever things that I need in this particular shelf. And it's designed with this notch out here so that the bottom shelf here is in line with the desk. So now that we have the basic notion of the design laid out here, I just wanna go ahead and turn on a couple features of the design that I put in to help me size things up. So let's start with the X-Carve. I found a model of the 1000 millimeter by 1000 millimeter X-Carve, which I use to help size that desk there. I also found some models of the Prusa i3 Mark II, as well as the Creality. So now in this case, it's the Creality CR10S rather than the CR10 that I have, but the general dimensions work fine for what I was looking for. The other two things that I found were the iMac Pro and then an actual Bluetooth keyboard to kind of give me some sizing, and so I know exactly where I want to put it on the desk. I have some other parts here, some rack bins and some part holders, it's not really relevant, but you kind of get the basic sense, and I'll turn the room back on. You kind of get a basic sense of what the office is going to look like when it's finished with this big shelf here, the shadow box across the top here, and then the computer on the other side with its storage unit there. What I have not modeled at this point is anything that I'm going to do in the closet. That's going to be a secondary step because uh, at the point that I actually created this model and started the build, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do in the closet, so I crossed that bridge when I came to it. Okay, that was the video. I hope you liked it. If you liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway, but please leave your comments down below and tell us why so that we can make future videos better. 
All right, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing, ringing that bell, very important these days. If you're not already following me on Instagram, please do so. That's where I post pictures of projects like this that become future videos. All right, thank you so much for getting this far, and don't forget to be inspired.